Now, over the past couple of months, we have all seen that John and Dave have really been revising all of their plans to really bring back Star Wars Legends in a very big way for the overall fandom around the world to really fulfill the fans' dreams and what they've been waiting to see for the past, you know, 10 plus years to actually be done in live action form and how that's really going to really be delivered in all the upcoming Star Wars shows that's currently in the roadmap. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, one thing that John and Dave are 100% really just focused on and dedicating to is really just satisfying the hardcore fans and even some of the casuals out there to really bring things full circle, to really bring Star Wars back to its roots again, and to just really give fans something very, you know, um, great to look forward to. They want to create that good feeling again. Now that brings us to exactly what is going on between Kathleen Kennedy and Jon Favreau. There's been a lot going on actually uh, behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm, and it's not a good thing, all right? It's very similar to the whole situation between George Lucas and Kathleen Kennedy back when The Rise of Skywalker released and why George absolutely refused to actually come to the world premiere of Episode 9. So let's, you know, dive into exactly what's going on here and what it really entails and what really led up to this entire situation between both Jon Favreau and Kathleen Kennedy. So, that brings us to, of course, you know, another negative situation over at Lucasfilm. It's not all that surprising at the end of the day. There's always going to be problems with Kathleen Kennedy, no matter what, at some point in time. So, with Kathleen Kennedy currently in a very bad spot with both the Acolyte and Skeleton crew, she has been giving the fans more details and updates about both the Acolyte and that show. She went on to talk about comparing her projects to what John and Dave are focused on recently. However, behind the scenes, Kathleen Kennedy is said to be very angry and furious with John Favreau for doing something specific to one of her upcoming projects. This all has to do with him inserting the characters of both Grand Admiral Thrawn and Ahsoka Tano into the Skeleton Crew series, and that John got approval from Disney higher-ups months back to make this happen. Something that Kennedy believes is going to interfere with the story that she wants to tell to the fandom. The main reason why Kennedy is very angry with John about this addition, of course, to her show, has to do with the fact that John inserted a couple of tomes and themes of George Lucas's vision of Star Wars into the Skeleton Crew series, and she is very annoyed about all of that and about that actual addition. Now, let me just stop here for a moment. Now, obviously, Kennedy has and always has had a problem with Lucas's vision of Star Wars, right? She's always had a problem with that actual side of the franchise, that overall concept of the franchise, and she wants nothing to do with George's outlook on Star Wars. And that's exactly why she openly stated that Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte are going to be written on a blank canvas, and given that John and Dave have been helping out with fixing a couple of scenes for the past couple of months, which by the way, as we covered in the last video, they're going to be leaving those shows. Alright, so those shows are going to be no more, they're going to be leaving, and that's that. However, ever since John and Dave stepped on board of Skeleton Crew, they've been adding in elements of George Lucas's outlook on Star Wars. This has actually been causing a lot of problems between John and Kathleen Kennedy and how Kathleen is having major issues with John Favreau for making this happen. And thankfully, the Disney board is actually what allowed John Favreau to do all of this. It's the Disney board that said, you know, Favreau, you got to do what you got to do, do it. But you can't really do it in its entirety because, let's face it, Kathleen Kennedy has most control over those shows. So, it's exactly why I said that Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte, it's going to have tones or a mixture of tones of George Lucas and Kathleen Kennedy, and I think it's going to be a very problematic type of way to market those shows. It's going to be a very hard thing to do. However, 
moving on to the next big thing here is this, is that John Favreau, all right, made this happen because he believes in George. Now, this caused a very problematic situation behind the scenes to where Kennedy was demanding Disney to remove anything related to John Favreau and or George Lucas. However, Disney refused to meet Kennedy's demands and agree to them. The grudge between both Favreau and Kennedy has intensified since then and only got bigger as Skeleton Crew now has tones of George Lucas's Star Wars thrown into it. Favreau also added in a new location called the New Beyond that was created by George Lucas and handed down to John Favreau to use in Skeleton Crew. So once again, just to make things clear, is that not only did he add in some new characters, but he also added in some new locations that were created by George Lucas behind the scenes that were actually handed down to John Favreau to use in the upcoming shows like Skeleton Crew. So just keep that in mind that a lot of that really is bothering Kathleen Kennedy. It's causing a lot of, uh, in, you know, intense scenarios between both John and Kathleen, and it's not looking good when it comes to their business relationship. So that's exactly why Kathleen Kennedy tried to convince the Disney higher-ups to remove everything related to John and George, and Disney absolutely refused to even allow that to even remotely happen. So basically everything is now in John and Dave's favor when it comes to all the additions happening with Skeleton Crew, all the additions happening with the Acolyte and stuff like that. And I think at the end of the day, this is gonna allow John and Dave to kind of at least save portions of both those shows. I don't think they're gonna save them entirely, but those two shows may have good moments at the very minimum. That's going to be highlights. Highlights is the key word uh, that will actually be pretty much the markings of the Acolyte and Skeleton crew that fans are gonna look back on. Now, obviously, Disney CEO Bob Iger, he's also the one that allowed all of this to happen, and he's the one that is allowing John and Dave to take control over pretty much the entire roadmap. And with the, ex with the exception of Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, given that they are leaving, you know, there's going to be a lot of delays, a lot of setbacks, even during post-production. So we're going to have to actually find out exactly how the fans are going to react to both TV shows. Because both these TV shows, let's face it, they had very toxic environments behind the scenes while filming, and there's no doubt about it that the same will follow during post-production. So overall, I'm very intrigued to hear what each and every one of you guys have to say about John Favreau, Dave Filoni, the whole nine yards related to the franchise and related to the transition. So yeah, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.